Hey guys, it's me, Elena. I guess this little cutie stole my hat forever. This is my third Sugar Cups girl and I'm not sure if she will be the last. So if you don't want to miss new videos, make sure to subscribe. This little lady is Chocolala. As opposed to the original Chocolala, which was representing dark chocolate, this one is obviously white chocolate. This is also reflected in her box. The box background is white chocolate bar. Surprisingly, my favorite chocolate is white. So I jumped at the opportunity to get this though. What is your favorite chocolate type? On the front of the box is cute full high photo of Chocolala. On the back is table with teacups and cupcakes. On the bottom there is a doll's name Chocolala and know that she was made as a commemorative doll for the Sugar Sugar Party 2021 and was limited to the Asian store. On the sides there are different sweets covered in white chocolate. On the top corner there are the Sugar Cups series and Asian logos. On the sides of the box there are more full high portraits of Chocolala. One of them is an art prototype. What do you think? Did they make her accurately according to the illustration. On the back of the box next to the cute picture of the doll is a bit more poetic description of the outfits, important parts and the most simple list of the set elements. The doll is as always for people of 15 years and up. Her price was 17,000 yen on the day of the release. The skirt is made of a satin beige fabric. The waist area looks like a corset with round metallic decorations glued to imitate buttons. Attached to the edge is gathered striped fabric with brown ribbon on the middle. The edge is asymmetrical and has brown bows that are attached to the shorter parts of the skirt on the front and on the back. The back bow is a bit simpler one. The skirt fastens from behind with white velcro. The main dress is of a white color to match white chocolate theme. It has a little bit of puffed sleeves design with strings on the cuffs. Front part has yellow threads decorating the edge, some pin tucks, laces and golden beads. The skirt part is pleated with some flesh color ribbon on the bottom. There are also two layers of underskirt attached. First layer has a very pretty white lace. The dress fastens behind with a white velcro. This little cape is so cute! Reminds me of a cape I got with Michelle. It is of a cream color. On the edge it has brown ribbon decoration. Color has some golden rope on the edge and two metallic golden hearts. Front part has a rectangular part frame in the same golden rope. Glued to it are two rows of metallic imitation buttons with a brown bow in the middle. The cape fastens on the front with white velcro. Inside it has a matching color lining fabric. Chocolala's white knee socks have a cute print on the front. The partner has some hearts and ribbons. Overall, the color scheme is beige to match the whole outfit. The socks have a pronounced heel part. Those panties are so tiny. I can't even imagine sewing something like that. They are simple white with pink ribbon decorating them. Underskirt is very puffy. To the white cotton base attach four layers of hard tool, two levels in total. Fastens behind with white velcro. When I just saw it, I didn't even understand what it was. I even needed to check the promo photo. Turns out this is a white fur color. In the middle it has brown ribbon and fastens behind with a metallic hook. The lining underneath is also white. These little shoes are somehow similar to what we saw before with Little Biscuitina. They are made from a white faux leather with brown ribbons instead of laces. Shoes have a little heel and the sole is brown. The sole has an Asian logo and left and right indicators. Insoles are white. Oh, I like this headband. Not a ribbon for a change. The base is covered in white cotton fabric and attached to the side is a white top hat with a white ribbon. The top hat is decorated with a brown and white striped bow and a big golden metallic heart. The hat holds its form very well. 
Chocolala has a cute chocolate bag. It can be held only in her hands using the little handle on the top. The main body is made of a white, a bit lacquer for leather, and the front part is made of a fabric with a white chocolate bar print on it. Flap is decorated with a brown bow. It fastens with a metallic snap, and you can actually use it. However, I'm not really happy with how it looks from the inside. Also, when it is closed, because of the material thickness and big ribbon, it is sticking out a bit. My perfectionist soul can't handle it. With the doll, we as always got some additional hands. Some of them will be useful for her to hold the bag. The doll's hair is snow white, very long and wavy. The bangs are cut unevenly. Surprisingly to me, it even has a little parting on the side, same as on the promo photos. Usually you need to style Asian doll's bangs yourself. The head underneath is painted white. Chocolala is of a white skin. This doll is the first sugar cups with this skin color, which makes her special. I hope you can see the difference on your screen. Chocolala has a little smiley mouth. It as well as eyelashes, eyebrows are all painted in brown color. Eyelashes have a little green flare. Her eyes are lilac, blue and shiny. The cheeks have a pink blush. <laughs> Let's look at the papers. First one is a card with a chocolate portrait on the front. It has the same background as we saw in the box, but now we can recognize more details. A lot of white chocolate sweets. Oh my, I'm getting hungry. On the back, this card has illustrated set contents and QR code which leads to the Asian maintenance guide. Another piece of paper is folded illustrated dress up details. I think it will be useful even if you don't understand Japanese, as pictures are very self-explanatory. On the other side are instructions about the eyes. These 8 mm Obitsu eyes can be replaced or change the eye side direction. The last one is black and white instructions about the Piconimo P body, which is one of the Asian 112 size bodies and the one they use for sugar cups. Do you like these little cuties? Honestly, I think currently they are the most successful Asian dolls line. If you enjoyed these dolls, don't forget to let me know in the comments down below and I will unbox more of them. Love dolls and kong kong!